Morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, people of God. Welcome to church. Welcome to church. We just give God thanks for another day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you about what we do here. Word Life Christian Fellowship. We just want to say, welcome, 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 welcome. Our mission and vision statement. Vision statement is changing our world with the word. Praise God. Praise God. The mission statement is we exist to equip with the transformative word of God and the tools to empower them to embrace their full fills their divine ordained purpose. And we say tools, wow. We doesn't, do not mean screwdrivers and hammers, no. With the word of God. Each and every one of us, God created us uniquely. You know, imagine each and every one of a different fingerprint. So, each and every one of us will get a word today, a different word. And you know, when we study the word and we share it, it's the building of God's kingdom. And how do we build God's kingdom? By helping you to grow, stay with you. You know, when, like when you were young and you're, you're, you're training your child to ride a bicycle, they got training wheel. So when, when you're young in, in, in this walk, you have training wheels, so we walk with you and we, we guide you. And then we take the wheels off so you could ride by yourself. You know, John 15, eight said, by this my father is glorified that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciple. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Let us usher in the Holy Spirit at this time. We are in the time, going into the time of praise and worship. And when we are going into the time of praise and worship, Psalm 150, verse 6 says, oh, before I do that, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go ahead of myself. I'm sorry about that. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, God, thank you, Lord. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. I love mothers. Mothers, you are so wonderful. God created you for a purpose. Without my mother or your mother will not be here. So let's, so let's praise God. So let's praise God. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in this ministry. Praise the Lord. Now, going back to our time of praise and worship. Psalms 150, verse 6 says, Let everything that I breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, sister. Praise the Lord, brother. You know, Psalm 66, too, says, sing the glory of his name. Make his praise glorious. And let me, we're here to worship this morning. I'm just to use the chat. Use the chat. You could try praising me. You could try, type amen. Let us use the chat and glorify God because the name of the Lord is worthy and worthy to be praised. So we just give God thanks for what we're about to hear and what we're about to do in this ministry here. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for this moment, dear God, in time, dear Lord. Lord, this you have sought out from the beginning of the earth, dear God, from creation. You know that this day, dear God, this day, this May 14, 2023, this time that we'll be here singing and praising to you, dear God, giving you your glory, dear God. 
God, this is all about you. It's not all about you, about us, dear God. Father God, I pray over your service today, dear God. Each and every speaker, dear God, I pray over the praise and worship. I pray over the giving. I pray over the welcoming. I pray over the message, dear God. Father God, I pray, dear God, that you will take over, dear God, because this is about you. God, I pray that you will keep the evil one away from your service today, dear God. I pray for each and every one who will be joining, dear God, or watching this on Zoom or, or, I mean, or Facebook or YouTube, dear God. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that your word will go out, dear God. God, your word said you watch over your word, dear God. You watch over your word, dear God. So I pray today, dear God, that you will watch over your word. Watch over your word, dear God, each and every word. Father God, I pray for your mercy this morning and your people, dear Lord. Cover us, dear God, under your blood. Wash us, dear God. As you say, your blood wash us, make us whiter than snow, dear Lord. Lord, we just give you the glory and we give you the praise. We honor you, we magnify you, dear God. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Make his praise glorious. 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 Amen. Come on, make a joyful noise in this house. Make a joyful noise. Come on, make a joyful noise. Yeah. Get your dance on tonight. Come on. Come on, make a joyful noise. Oh! 
Amen. 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 Forget about your troubles. Leave your worries behind. Because I was created to make your praise glorious. Glorious. Isaiah 43, 21 says, This is my people. I have formed for myself. They shall show my praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We were created to make his praise glorious. Can I get an amen? Can I get a hallelujah? You could type hallelujah in the chat. You could type amen in the chat. Let us praise him. Let us praise him. Let amen. us praise him. Let us praise him. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans 8, 31 says, what shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be up against us? Oh, let us lift up all and I'm praising. Praise, praise God. God. Praise God. This is why I raise a hallelujah. Hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies. I raise a hallelujah louder than the unbelief. I raise a hallelujah. My Thank you. 
Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Sing it a little louder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. I had an experience about two weeks ago. I was in Jamaica. And I get the opportunity to drive at night. One night. And I was driving. The roads were good. And going around the corner, you know, you drive on your low beam. And going around the corner, there were cars coming around with a bright light. And when they come around the corner with the bright light, it makes it look like they're coming in the middle of the road. So you, you will try to move off the road and give them pass. And I figure if I put my bright light on, when I put my bright light on, then I will see them. And I noticed that they, they are not in the middle of the road. So let me tell you something, church. Devil is a liar. Turn the lights up. Turn your lights up, Christian. Turn your lights up. What the word is saying, turn our lights up. Turn our lights up for Christ. Turn your lights up. Turn your praises up. Whatever you're doing, turn it up this morning. Hallelujah. We just give him thanks and praise. We just give him thanks and praise. We are here to praise him. Type him in the chat. Do something. Shout. Let your neighbor think you're crazy inside for Lord, for the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shout. Shout to the voice of triumph. Shout in victory. Because victory is ours. Victory is ours. Hallelujah. Let's worship the Lord. We adore you, Lord. We adore you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. your feet gives you rest evermore stars will light the sky for you and always God be praised and we sing the Lord is on high the Lord is on
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We adore you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. Lord, we adore you. We magnify you. We glorify you, dear Lord. Lord, we thank you this morning. We thank you for your word, dear God. We thank you for your blessings, God. We thank you for everything, God. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. We praise you this morning, dear Lord. We lift your name on high. Because, God, without you, we are nothing. Thank you for the rain. Thank you for the sun. Thank you for everything, dear God. God, you have created everything. Everything under the sun, God, you have created, dear God. And we are here this morning to do one thing and one thing only to give you praise. To say thank you, Lord, for life. Thank you, Lord, for friendship. Thank you, Lord, for brethren, for family. Thank you, Lord. Lord, you are great. Lord, we believe in the name of Jesus Christ. We believe that you came and died for us, dear God, that we can have life, but not just life, but life abundantly, dear God. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, great. Oh, great are you, Lord. Oh, great. Oh, great is your name. Your name is wonderful. Counselor. Mighty God, Prince of Peace, we adore you. Thank you, God, for what you are doing and what you are about to do in this service, dear God, as we continue. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. And everyone said, Amen. 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 Just say thank you, Lord. We just say thank you, Lord. Today's reading is from Proverbs 31, verse 10 to 31. A wife of noble character who can find. She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She selects wool and flax and works with eager hands. She is like the merchant ships bringing her food from afar. She gets up while it is still night. She provides food for her family and portions for her female servants. She considers a field and buys it out of her yearnings. She plants a vineyard. She sets about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for her tasks. She sees that her trading is profitable and her lamp does not go out at night. In her hand, she holds the distaff and grasps the spindle with her fingers. She opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. When it snows, she has no fear for her household, for all of them are clothed in scarlet. She makes coverings for her bed. She is clothed in fine linen and purple. Her husband is respected at the city gate, where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them, and supplies the merchants with sashes. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Honor her for all that her hands have done, and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. Here ends the reading of the Word of God. Happy Mother's Day to the mighty women of God.
Happy Mother's Day, mighty women of God. It's just a joy and a privilege to meet with, with you um, today. And just to say um, uh, on behalf of us all, just happy Mother's Day. We love you. We thank God for you. We thank God for um, your very existence. Thank God for the, the trials that many of you have been through. Many of you maybe have been single mothers, been single, um, been, been just, you know, maybe widows, whatever the, the case might be, um, going through economic challenges, whatever the case, thank you for being a mother and may God richly bless you on this precious Mother's Day. I'd like to welcome you. Um, if you're with us for the first time, if you would put your, put just type first time in the chat so we can public rec publicly recognize you. We thank God for you. Thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, I know you could be anywhere today. There are many in-person churches, many um, virtual um, churches where you could be today, but you opted to worship with us this day and we do not take it lightly. If you would type first time in the chat so we can recognize you. And um, and you can, and please, if you would send a um, chat to Denley Walters um, or contact our church office, and you see the information there on the screen, and that can be, um, and so we can just um, you know, say, say thank you for, for joining us. May God bless you as you worship with us, and we pray that you send the spirit of Almighty God um, as you, as we worship together. Happy Mother's Day, as I mentioned before, to all the wonderful mothers, I thank God for you. Thank God for all, all that you're about. And I pray that um, this day you will just sense the warmth, the love of, of, of your of, um, motherhood. For those of us who, who have, um, who, whose mothers are, st are still living, you know, make sure you do something special for her today. My mother is already in glory. Many of our mothers are already in glory. Perhaps you're this experiencing this Mother's Day for the first time without without your your mother being here, and it's a it's a bittersweet day for you. I pray that today God would just wrap you in His arms and just um, just embrace and, and hold you in His warm embrace. For all the mothers who are worshiping with us worshiping with us today, we have a special gift for you. A special gift. It's a tangible gift. We say God bless you. We, we say thank you for coming, but we also have a tangible gift for you. So here's how you can get that gift. You can send your information in the chat, your, your contact information in the chat in Zoom to Denley Walters, um, and then uh, and we'll, we'll get that to you. You can also contact the church office today or email our ch church today, but this will have to be done today. And this is for those mothers who who joined us here in, in Zoom. So if you have a mother or if you know a mother who is not in the service just now, uh, please contact them. Please contact them. And if, if they join today, then they shall certainly have a tangible gift from us. It's just our way of saying thank you for not just coming to our service, but thank you for being a mother and for being God's hand extended through the precious gift of motherhood. Right? So a special gift for us for those today. Today, our, we have a special guest speaker. He often joins us, but he's never given the word um, to us. And so we just look forward to hearing our brother, Reverend Brian Captain. Uh, he's in Mombasa, Kenya, and thank God for the wonders of technology, whereby we can connect uh, in this capacity. He's a, a mighty man of God, a faithful uh, man of God. And we just look forward to what the Lord has to say to us through him under the anointing as we celebrate this wonderful Mother's Day today. This Tuesday, um, you know, two days after, after Mother's Day, we're going to be doing a study, a Bible study, a one-time Bible study on biblical mothers. This um, study will be conducted by my wonderful wife, by, by my lovely wife, Dinley Walters. So I look forward to hearing what God, God um, says to us through her. I don't often get to hear her share in this capacity, so I am certainly looking forward to it and being there. So I pray that uh, each of you would show up as well. If you're with us for the first time, you may note that the, the meeting ID is different from that of our Sunday services. But do join us, and I pray that the Spirit of God would speak to us um, on Tuesday as we gather to study biblical mothers. And then a week from Tuesday, we're going to be having a night of praise and worship. We've had a couple of these um, in, our, in the time that we've worshiped together. And the Lord always does something special. So I would encourage you to, to, to plan to come and join us on that, on that 
that night. If you would as well, let us know what um, you know, what your, some of your favorite songs are so we can incorporate them into the lineup for that evening. And we'll just have a blessed time of praise and worship. We'll have the time to, 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 to share testimony or to tell, to tell us what that particular song might mean to us. So do come out, not this Tuesday. This Tuesday is, is a um, Bible study about biblical women. And then um, we, will, we will have the, excuse me, and, the, and then next week we will have a time of praise and worship. This past uh, Thursday, um, we, on, on May, May 11th, we had a wonderful session. The, part of the purpose of our, our church is to empower people beyond just the spiritual, uh, beyond just the spiritual. We do, we, we started a series of seminars and this past Thursday, we had a seminar called The Other 90%, The Money Management for Christians Beyond the Tithe. That uh, was a very um, well attended um, seminar. And I believe that, you know, based on the feedback we've gotten thus far, it was very meaningful. If you missed it, you can, you can look at it on our church's YouTube channel, right? Our YouTube channel, you'll see that information in a moment. In addition to that, because of the, you know, finances and you know, money management is so far reaching, we're gonna have a, a part two of this session on Thursday, June 1st, right? On Thursday, June 1st, so in, so um, in well, just under three weeks, we'll be having that. And the Zoom meeting ID is the same as for our Sunday services. So Thursday, June 1st. So mark your calendar on that. This, uh, on Wednesdays, we fast and pray. We do not gather corporately. So if you, if you would uh, fast and pray in your own time um, and just, just get, get closer to God and God will, will, um, will just will hold you in his warm, warm, um, warm embrace. All right, so this, um, so this Wednesday and each Wednesday, we have a time of fasting and prayer. We believe in prayer. We believe in the power of prayer. Um, so if you would, um, if they just contact our, this is our church officer, 24 our prayer line. You can call anytime, 24 seven, and, and you'll, you'll get a human being to answer you. And then we will, we will um, you know, go through, through the process of make, making sure we have your right information so we can join you in prayer and believe in God for you. To, to be, be manifested in your, in your life. Our shorts, you'll see our short videos in a moment. They've been, they're, very, they're a great evangelistic tool. What we do is, is um, you know, snippets of our messages. We add audio and um, see, we, we add music as well as some imagery, video imagery to it. And then we share these. And these have been, they've been very impactful. We launched these this past October. And we have over, this should be updated. We have over 35,000 views of these videos um, on a global level. And we just know that God has done a great work and is doing a great work uh, through these, these tools. If you would li like to be on the list of, so on the list of those who get to the video first when, when they come out, if you would just send a chat to Dinah Walters and, um, and we would, would add you to, to, to the list. Or you could you know, call, call church officer, send us an, an email as well. Right. And finally, our you can join us on social media. On social media, we have Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. We try to be up with the times and very, very modern and relevant. And so if you would join us uh, on, in these media tools so we can, you know, can keep the conversation going because our Christian life is a 24-7 life. And we like to be connected through the tools of social media. May God richly bless you. And again, thank you to each one for coming. And this time, I'm going to ask my, my son, son Justin, to, uh, to, to share a, a poem that, you know, I, I wrote it several, several years ago. But just considering the, you know, it, the, the short we will see in, in a moment about the multi-generational aspect of our Christian lives, knowing that it's not just a one-time, one-generation thing. It's something that's ongoing. And we think about the, the loving grandmothers that many of us have, the, the praying grandmothers, and to think of their legacy, their life and legacy as it goes on and on. It's something that perpetuates throughout time. And so here's a young man who will be reading a poem, just considering grandma, thinking of the generations, and how the wisdom is passed on from one in one to the other throughout the ages. So if you would, Justin, you would just share this poem 
a child in their eyes. And I pray that as each of you listens, you'll be blessed by what the Lord has to say through the, the poem. Okay, Justin, you can go ahead, buddy. His mom and dad were amazed and surprised. He was only a boy, a child in their eyes. They wondered how he was young, but yet so wise. They asked how he learned the secret to life. He said, remember last summer before grandma died, how I went to her house and we played outside? She taught me a lesson that serves as my guide. And that's why I talk about her with such pride. She told me I only have one life to live, so I must learn to love and forgive. She said that my actions will always outlive the words that I say and the excuses I give. She told me the secret to true success, prosperity, peace, and happiness is not all the things we possess, but in the lives that we touch and the love we express. I promised her that I would try to be a young man of high integrity, to shine my light for the whole world to see and to and to do unto others as I want done for me, as I want done to to me. So that's why I choose to live this way. My actions speak more than the words I say. Tomorrow's not promised to oh, I vow every day to shine like the stars in their perfect array. The blessings of Almighty God are multi-generational. And so if you think, if you mistakenly think that what you're doing right now is for you and your 401k and your social security and your pension and all of these things so you can be comfortable. No, the spirit of Almighty God is telling us that the work that you do right now is, is meant to go on from generation to generation to generation. The word of God tells us that a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. The blessings of Almighty God are multi-generational. So sometimes people of God, get yourself out of the way and look what God is doing. Listen to what God is saying. The blessings are beyond you. All your children will be taught by the Lord in verse 13, and great will be their peace. All your children will be taught by the Lord. Praise God for our teachers. Praise God for our parents. God bless them all. But people of God, no matter if it's your teacher, you individually, or a tutor, or whomever, what you want is that your children will be taught by the Lord because that teacher is all-knowing. That teacher is all powerful. Our children ought to be taught by the Lord, and great will be their peace. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning again, church. My name is Brother Mel. Um, I'm here to provide, provide over your sewing. You know, giving is a gift. Um, we just want to thank God for the gift of giving. The word this morning comes from Proverbs, 20, Proverbs 11, 25. A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. The word of God is saying this morning, if you bless somebody, you will be blessed. All things come from God. He gave us wisdom. He gave us knowledge. He gave us understanding. The Lord is faithful. He is faithful. So there are five ways to sow. You could sow by check or Zelle, Cash App, Church Giving Center, or via text. Let us pray. Almighty God, we hear you. We hear you, Lord. We hear you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We hear you. Hear you, Lord. A generous person. 
will prosper. We hear you, Lord. Lord, we just say thank you for your word this morning. Thank you for your word, God. God, we are not just hearers of your word. We are doers of your word also, dear God. Lord, thank you for the ability even to just wake up this morning and to walk off the bed. To walk into this service, dear Lord, to listen to your word, to spend some quality time with you, dear Lord. And we hear your word, dear God. So as we bless others this morning, dear God, we ask you for, to pour out your blessings upon us so we could bless them even more, dear God. Thank you for your soil this morning, dear God, for who are participating in your sowing, dear God, in the building of your kingdom. Thank you, Lord. Bless them, dear God. And Father God, your folks out there, dear God, who are going through troubling time, dear Lord. Lord, we know, yes, Lord, but you are our provider, dear God. As you show us, show them also, dear God. Bless each and every one, dear God. Bless us this day in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. God be praised. It's so time for the word of God. We're about to go into the word of God. And, you know, our brother, Reverend Captain, he has been, um, I almost, I, I, I can't even say he's a guest, guest preacher, because he's always with us, right? And he, he joins us each week. And he's prayed in each of our services, but he's never um, delivered the word. And it, you know, this delivered the word to us in this environment. But I am just delighted to be able to introduce him to us in a, in a new way. Reverend Captain is based, well, he is from, and he's based in Mombasa, Kenya. His lovely wife, um, Sister Margaret, after, um, after this introduction, um, she'll be just uh, praying over the word as she, as I, you know, just before he delivered. He's the pastor of Okombosi Fire, Church, baptized um, church in Mombasa, Kenya. And he is you know, a, a special gift and anointing that he has is for is to care for the, the um, fatherless and the motherless, care for orphans. And this is part a big part of his ministry. And we've um, partnered with him in our time together. Even in this um, video, this picture you see on the screen, with me and him, it was taken in 2018 when, when, when he was here, when we were launching a particular phase of this ministry. So for a number of years, we've worked together in order to support orphans and those who are without a mother and a father. And he's surely a mighty man of God. As I was preparing to, to share the, an introduction, you know, I was just so blessed because this, I did not know that I had. So I'm gonna share this with you briefly 
After which I'll ask my sister Margaret, captain, to pray for the man of God before he delivers the word to us. And I pray that in this video that you're about to see, that your hearts will be blessed and you will just know that this is no ordinary servant of God um, who, whom we shall hear from today. So just be blessed by this video with our brother, Reverend Barnett Captain. You want peace in your life, you want peace in your country, you want peace into your business, then pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Father God, we thank you once again this evening. We bless your holy name, O Jehovah. Thank you because, Lord God, you have a purpose. You chose Israel as your firstborn. We want to thank you because, Lord God, we have seen tremendous signs. We have seen tremendous works, O God. Father, I pray this hour. You stay and you declare in your word that Israel shall be saved. Thank you, dear Father, because of Israel. We are praying tonight. We unite in faith. <laughs> Weeks, weeks, days, masiku, hours, masa, minutes, dakika. But we want to thank God mungu, that a time has come mewadia, that without wasting much more time bila muda mwingine, that it has pleased God na mungu, to bring to us utuletea, Kenya, Kenya a man of God Apostles, apostle and prophet to the nations of the world. <laughs> My joy and pleasure to bring to us tonight, servant of God. So, it is my pleasure to bring to us this servant of God, this mighty man of God, my brother, our brother, Reverend. Barnet Captain. And so if you would go ahead and unmute yourself and we just look forward to what God has to say to us through you on this day. Sister Margaret, we await your prayer. Thank you so much. Okay. Praise God, brothers and sisters. I, as I usher in the man of God, my names are Margaret, Pastor Margaret. I want to read the book of Isaiah 55, verse 10 and 11. For as the rains come down and the snow from the heaven and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth and make it bring forth and burn, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing where I send it. So I want to commit the servant, I want to pray for the word of God. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to thank you, Lord. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for your loving kindness, for your grace and mercy, oh God. Even as we gather again this Sunday morning and evening, we thank you, Father, for the great plans you have for us, oh God. We know you have got a good plan for us to give us a hope and a future. I commit your servant 
uh, your servant, Reverend Captain, in your able hands. Lord, even as he brings your word, God, this evening, I pray that you use him as a vessel, O oh God. Use his clay uh, lips, Lord, to deliver, thou says the Lord. We pray, Father, that you shall prepare our hearts, those on Zoom and even on social, social media, on Facebook and other media services in, in, on, on YouTube, that we pray that God, my Father, even those that will watch after this, this word will touch their lives, oh God. Thank you, Father, because your word says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from thy mouth. Anoint your servant and use him mightily, O oh God. We pray for more grace upon his life, and they shall use him mightily from the head of the toe for down the, his feet. Anoint him afresh, O oh God, as he releases the word. We thank you, Father. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. What a pleasant surprise. What a pleasant surprise. What a gift we have in the body of Christ. Rodrigo, Pastor, you are a blessing, full of surprises. <laughs> but I want to thank God uh, once again because uh, I, the, the Spirit of God uh, takes control of each one of us because I am surprised. I was looking at that video yesterday, memories of what had happened. I was uh, just thanking God over how he has used me in the years past. I don't know how I got it. I, I, I don't understand, but God bless you. I think you are an FBI in the kingdom of God. <laughs> so uh, without wasting much time, I want to thank God because of this wonderful day. I count it an honor and privilege to be able to minister to God's people as a uh, Pastor Roderick has said in 2018, God joined us and uh, I, he trusted me and trusted me to minister in the class that he was in the church that um, he used to, to minister together with other ministers. And then uh, he was able to introduce me to other pastors, Pastor Isao and the minister in that church. Uh, thank God because of you uh, believing in what God is doing through my life and uh, God bless you mightily. So I want to thank God for this opportunity is granted us. And this being a wonderful day that uh, we are celebrating the Mother's Day. And we want to thank God because of our mothers. As uh, Pastor Roderick has said, my mother and my wife's mother also are promoted to glory. But for those mothers that are still uh, here in the Lost Vineyard, we thank God because of them. And uh, I want to acknowledge and send special greetings to all mothers on this day of celebrating the Mother's Day. Jesus talked over how powerful mothers are, uh, irrespective of circumstances they go through. So we want to thank God because of you mothers. And uh, we, want, we strongly believe that um, you are we are a blessing to the world, the world of the, that's inhabited by humans, uh, almost 8 billion now on the face of the earth, uh, is as a, a work of mothers. And so this evening to us in Africa and the morning to you in Florida, we want to thank God because of this opportunity. Today, as uh, Pastor Roderick, under the leadership of Wildlife Christian Fellowship, uh, uh, were led by God that I be able to share this word this day. Uh, the Lord adopted my spirit uh, uh, to share with us a topic entitled Sharing the Master's Joy. And we see that uh, Jesus said uh, in the book of uh, John 16, 24, that uh, he told his disciples that he pray that your joy may be full. So we wonder at times while we are on this work, world working, and uh, why did Jesus say that we pray until our joy is full? I wanted us to read the scripture together that we guided the text that is, if Brother Roderick will have it, uh, Matthew 25, 
uh, if we can read together, uh, this is the parable of the talents. For the kingdom of God is as man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several ability, and straight away took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained other two. But he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reconneth with them. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents and saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. Uh, verse 21, his Lord say unto him, <clears throat> well done thou good and faithful servant. Thou has been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou delivered unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou has been faithful over a few things. I'll make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord, thy Lord. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not sown. And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. To the to thee, there thou hast that is thine. Well, his Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not, and gather where I have not sown. Thou oughtst therefore to have put my money to the exchanges, and then at my coming I should have received my own with a salary. Take therefore the talent from him, and give it unto him which hath ten talents. For unto everyone that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that hath not shall be taken away, even thou which that he hath. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Now, uh, it is evident that um, we see the apostles when they start the work of ministry that uh, Peter and John, when they met a person that was begging at the temple, this guy expected them to give him silver and gold. But the Peter and John said, silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, do I give. And they said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. It is evident in our lives that we cannot be able to give out what we don't have. When we talk about sharing the master's joy, Jesus said, we have to pray in order for us to have the joy of the Lord full in us. So we can all share that which is not in us. And from this text that we have read, we see the parable that Jesus gave us, gave an example of the three guys that had given talents, one five, the other two, and the other one. The 105, we find him being faithful into serving 
into using what God or what his master had entrusted him. And after being faithful, we see that at the return of his master, he tells him, well done, thou good and, and faithful master, enter into your master's joy. In this world, what do we expect as we continue serving him? God has created us in his own image. I'm sharing that in the very beginning, when God created man, in Genesis 1.26, it talks about God created man in his own image. And the scripture says that male and female created he them. So I normally make um, this, um, uh, this, this announcement that uh, we should always come to the understanding that uh, I always tell my wife that um, you see in the very beginning, the first person to experience Caesarea was a man, because from this reading, we find that Eve was in Adam. And in chapter two of Genesis, we see that Eve coming out of Adam was a mystery. So I and the pastor Roderick, we find yes, in Genesis 1 6, and God said, let us make man in our own image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fall of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So man and woman were created as partners. We are partners and that's why when we are celebrating today the Mother's Day, we celebrate uh, what we also did the first time, though Jesus said that uh, what you women go through, what mothers go through, uh, it is just for a while. In Psalm 30 verse 6, it says, weeping may, uh, may, may, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes. And he gave a narration of how a mother, when she's undergoing that travail, that labor pain, how, uh, how, how, how troublesome it is. But uh, Jesus said that at the end of that, the mother becomes very joyous when he, she sees a child brought forth. And so that weeping that one endures, at the end of it, a mother rejoices. T.D. Jakes made a joke sometimes back and he said that, uh, okay, in Africa, we're not allowed in the labor rooms, like uh, in the US, I think you're allowed to go and be with your wife, comfort her as she delivers. But in Africa, we are told, men, we are told to stay far away. So by the time I wanted to go and um, be with my wife, uh, the nurses didn't allow me in the labor room, in our firstborn. But um, uh, so T.D. Jax was making this, a joke saying that, um, you know, brethren, we, may, we better be speaking the truth. He said that there's a time when uh, his wife was delivering and they said he was trying to comfort her, say, a, a sweetheart, baby, don't worry, we are with you. Don't, don't mind about what is happening, we are with you. But he let her confess saying that uh, the truth is that it is my wife who was undergoing that pain. It was I who was feeling, I was not feeling it. Now that's why I'm saying that uh, we are partners, but then what God purposed from the very beginning, God created us, man and woman, to be partners, to have dominion over God's creation, as we have read in the scripture of, of Genesis 1.26. But there are seven things we find church that man lost when we disobeyed God and fell short of the glory. The fall of man resulted in him losing seven things. One, God used to have fellowship with man time to time. So number one, the fall of man resulted in him losing seven things. Number one, man lost the presence of God. It's because of our fall, 
that now it has to take us time to accept Jesus, him to come into our life, or him to give us uh, uh, the Holy Spirit so that we can have that fellowship, that presence of God. It says how blessed is it when we are together like this. Thank God for the technology that we are able to be together. And the Bible says the presence of God comes to be with us and there God commands a blessing. Number two, man lost the wisdom of God. Man was created in the image of God. We were, we were, we had the image of God. We had the wisdom of God. Deuteronomy 4, 7 says that uh, the word of God is the wisdom of God. When we fell, this is the second thing that we lost, which God had given us. The third thing that God, that, 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 that a man lost when he fell short of the glory of God, man also lost the dominion. He lost the authority of God. Because when we read in Genesis 1, 26, God's commission was that we have dominion and authority over all his creation. Don't you ever wonder in life, uh, if say um, Adam and Eve were say in the Middle East, uh, why in Europe, and how did they get to a place like USA? How do they get to a place like Australia? How do they get to a place like Africa? I believe man having dominion could, he co could command a well. We have a record in the Bible that uh, God commanded a well to follow up Jonah when he had uh, refused to go and uh, minister and he found himself uh, split by the well. So I believe man having dominion could he command an elephant, could he command a, a, a lion, could he command a, 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 an, a, an eagle, could he command him to be taken anywhere. That's what I believe. I see that picture. The fourth thing that man lost is that man lost the glory, the covering of God. When God created, and we look at all the creation that God has placed on this planet earth, you'll find that most things have covering. Look at a cattle, look at a sheep, look at a, a donkey, Look at an elephant, look at a bird, it has got feathers. Uh, a, a cattle has got a hard skin. When you look at the, the fish, it has got scales. Look at, the, at God's creation, it has got covering. But look at our skin, it's very light. And that's why Jesus referred into Matthew 22, when uh, a story was given about a brother that had died. And so they were inquiring, because according to the laws of Moses, when a brother died that did not have a child, then his younger brother would take over. So the seven brothers that, uh, maybe the, 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 the brothers that died, they asked Jesus in the resurrection, whose wife will this woman be? Because all seven of them had her as a wife. And Jesus said, you err because you do not know the power of God and the scriptures, because in the resurrection, they will not marry or remarry. He said, we shall be like angels. Many at times in the visions that have come appeared to men and women of God in the Old and the New Testament, we have found that uh, there is glory over every being, heavenly beings that have been imparted to bring messages on this earth. So I believe that man lost the glory he lost the covering of God. But when Jesus came, he came to restore. And that's why at the resurrection, at the trumpet that sounding at a time, the Bible says that who, who, us who are alive will not be able to go before those that fell asleep in the Lord. Because at the trumpet sounding, we shall be changed. And those that slept in the Lord shall be the first to rise up. And thus, as who remain, we shall join them in the air and be with the Lord. So, and I believe that um, nothing, because the Bible tells us the flesh and blood shall not be able to inherit the kingdom of God. So we shall have that covering, that glory restored to us, like Jesus. When Jesus resurrected, 
He had a glorified body. Remember when he was coming out, and that's why we, we thank God because of the women, is that uh, they are the ones that had that first glimpse of the Lord when he had resurrected. And when Mary wanted to touch him, he said, do not touch me. I'm first going to the Father, and after I've come from the Father, then I'll be able uh, to be. And when he had ascended to the Father, coming to meet them in Galilee, in that house, we find Jesus telling the Thomas who was doubting that I am he that died and am now alive. Touch me. See where the nails went through. See my feet. See at my, my, my rib, my, my rib. Uh, the, 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 that spear that went through, it is me. This body is now glorified. We are going to have glorified bodies that will not need a door that uh, right now, if I want to come to be in uh, with you, as uh, Jennifer and Maxwell, you just see me coming in your house and saying, do you have any tea? And then we can be able to share together, glorify God. God is going to restore all that which was stolen and eaten by enemy. Number, number five, uh, the man also lost, the fall of man caused us to, uh, to lose the kingdom of God. The kingdom according to Romans 14, 17, and that's why it talks about that joy that we need to share, sharing the master's joy. He say the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. So we lost that, but uh, thank God for Jesus who came. And six is that man also lost their health. Uh, we were not, we don't, we don't read in the Bible where we see. Uh, Adam and Eve sick or any animal sick, but it's because of fall that we also uh, fall short of that and we lost our health that God gave us. That's why the Apostle John says that uh, I pray that you may prosper, be in good health as your soul also prospers. That's the third episode of John verse 2. And then the uh, last seven is that uh, we find that man lost the wealth. You can find men struggling, fighting, killing each other. Adam and Eve were given dominion. They had all they required. There was gold in plenty, water in plenty, food in plenty, no greed, no devil. It was all super, but we lost all that. Sharing the master's joy. As I said, we cannot be able to share what we do not have. And sharing will depend on the text that uh, we have read this day, that that which the Lord has entrusted us with. The one who had five talents were told, you have been faithful in this five and making five more. I see that you are a person that is able now to enter the master's joy. We'll be able to enter the master's joy when what we are entrusted by the Lord, serving him, whichever areas we are, that we may one day, that's what I pray for, that one day, God, I, 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 I'm longing to hear the voice of the master saying, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter into thy master's joy. I don't know about you. The same to the one who was given two talents, but you can see one who was given one, um, making jokes, making a mockery. And, uh, uh, and that's how many of us Christians are, or many Christians, we don't take what God has given us seriously. Jesus said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creation. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved. He that believes not, he shall be condemned. And this is part of the great commission. This is the great commission that we need to do so. You see in the book of Acts, when these people heeded, heeded to the Great Commission, the scriptures tells us that as they preached this gospel, there was joy in the city. I don't know whether you have discovered God has used me in evangelizing, reaching men and women in various places, but anytime I find a soul coming to the kingdom of God, when it's delivered from the power of darkness to the kingdom of light, there is joy. We don't see the scripture referring to any place that uh, angels rejoice in heaven. But the Bible says that when one sinner repents, then there is joy in heaven. 
the father rejoices over one sinner coming from the power of darkness to the kingdom of light. So we see, and, 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 and I, I always ask, I always give this um, uh, example that if, um, and that's why the Bible says more blessed to give than to receive. Because if you are given something, you are given a present. Like I believe that um, One Life Christian Fellowship, uh, God has led them to give gifts to mothers, uh, commemorating this Mother's Day. Uh, it is always a joy for somebody to receive a gift, a gift, however small it may be. It may be just a note being brought to you. Thank you for being a mom. Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you, dad. Thank you, darling. Thank you, brother. Just a word of thank you. Make somebody feel good. Make somebody appreciate and know that it's counted. Nehemiah 8.10 says, the last part says, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy that the Lord is telling us to pray that it may be full, that we can share it with others. Nehemiah said, this joy of the Lord, when it is in you, it becomes strength. And Proverbs 24.10 says, if you faint in the day of adversity, then your strength is small. If the scripture says that the joy of the Lord is my strength, obviously the opposite is that uh, the lack of the joy in our lives is our weakness. And if what the scripture says that uh, by fainting in the day of adversity, our strength is small. Many times, um, when you look at the scripture and you do research, in the book of uh, Proverbs 17, 22, the Bible says, a merry heart is medicine to the heart. When you have a merry heart, is medicine to the heart. <laughs> I was just preparing this message. Yes, a merry heart does good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dry the bones. Now, I, I, you know, I was, I was preparing this message. You can Google that. I Googled out and uh, the result was that uh, about muscles. Quote takes, the quote was that it takes 72 muscles to frown, to become angry. And it takes only 13 muscles to smile. Children of God, my question is, 72 muscles for you to be angry. Can you ask your neighbor who's just next to you, why should you take the time you know, gathering 72 muscles to be angry. And while it takes only 13 muscles, Google that, you'll find that this research that has been made, that it takes only 13 muscles for you to smile. 72 to be angry. And look at the population around. You go around the city, go around the working place. People have decided to use the 72 muscles. And they are very, very serious in the world. We need to have the joy of the Lord into our lives that when we have this joy of the Lord, then we are able to share it to others. I believe with all of my heart that when we shall be able to seek God, as Jesus said, that pray that the joy of the Lord may be full. When you are full, you're able to be able to distribute to others. That's why Jesus said, a thief comes in order to steal, kill, and destroy. But I, Jesus, have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Brethren, children of God, I want you to look around. He tells us in the book of Proverbs about seeking to see the wisdom of God. He, look, he tells us to look at the birds. He tells us to look at the rain. He tells us to look at all the things that God made, he made, he created, is in abundance. The air that we used to breathe is in abundance. Look at the water, it's in abundance. Whatever we see the Lord has made, is yet that man, we have become selfish and greedy, and we like to, uh, to, 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 to put some things uh, to ourselves, collect something to ourselves, refusing to allow God use us. Because 
uh, if God's things that are created are in abundance, I believe the joy of the Lord that he purposes us to share, he also, if we seek for it, shall be released to us in abundance. Hallelujah. What do you wish to hear our master say when he returns one of these days? In the text we read, the one who had five talents and two talents, because of what he had done, the voice says, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter into your master's joy. This is the joy of a human that might say that. How about the joy of the Lord, whose nature is love, who was said in his word, in Proverbs 10, 22, the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and adds no sorrow to it. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich and he addeth no sorrow with it. Now, if you compare chapter, that, that verse 22 and verse 6, Verse 6 says, the blessings of the Lord are upon the righteous, upon the person that has totally given himself or herself to the Lord. First, the blessing, and then the blessings. You need to get the blessing of the Lord, the wisdom of God, that is the principal thing, the wisdom of the Lord, which is the word of God. I give a narration shortly. Look at Jacob. He come, a time has come, his mother has heard the father Isaac saying, my days are neared. So please make me something that I may eat, feel joyful, and then bless you. And then the mother of had that, and you know the story, Jacob, makes some server and brings to the father. He eats that, he feels good. And Jacob uh, and Isaac blesses his son. He speaks a blessing. And the blessing that he spoke is what Jacob left with. We are gathered here to hear the word of God. The word of God is the blessing of God. When we are taught to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness and the other things to be added, he had the blessing of the father. He left going to Laban, his uncle, not with the, how many horses. He was never told this part of you will be, this part of land will be yours. He was never told this is a number of cattle that will be yours or horses. He simply, the father simply spoke the word into Jacob's life. Isaac spoke the word. You follow the story that after many years, he went to Laban. When he came back, because he went with the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich and hath no sorrows, later we see Jacob coming back to his father's place with now the blessings. We see him with the many cattle, with the many sheep, with the many donkeys. We see him. What did he get for us? He got the blessing, and then God lists the blessings. There's a notion that many of us um, uh, may think and which uh, does not help us. There are those of us who think that when maybe we have these other resources, when we have money, we have everything. I normally look at this um, movie that normally I say that the rich also cry. But uh, I have got few things which I just want us to point out right now so that we should seek for the blessing, that when we have the blessing, the word of God, Colossians 3.16, which says, let the word of Christ dwell richly in you. There are things that money cannot buy. I know we rise up, we give services, we go and work eight hours, 10 hours, we give services that we can get the money. We do get some goods, do some exchange, some trade, so that we can get the money. But hear this, what money cannot buy? Money will buy a bed, but money will not buy a sleep. Money can buy books, 
but they cannot buy brains. Money can buy food, but that food needs appetite. It can't buy appetite. Well, although you can buy appetizer, but it cannot. Appetize comes from, appetite comes from God. It can buy finery, but not beauty. The beauty comes from the Lord. Money can buy a house, but it cannot buy a home. Can buy medicine, but it cannot buy health. Money can buy luxuries, but cannot buy culture. It can buy amusement, but not happiness. Money can buy a crucifix, but not a savior. Money can buy a church pew, but not heaven. What money can't buy, Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, can give to us freely. Hallelujah. It is important for us, as I just come to the conclusion of this message, is that we need to understand one thing, that sharing the master's joy will need to be with the master because he said, without me, you can do nothing. Without Jesus, we can do nothing. Without him imparting into our lives, we can do nothing. And that's why I want us to, I just want to give a backup. When God gave us the Holy Scriptures, he gave, when God gave us Jesus, he gave us his best. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That Jesus is the one that can bring joy. I remember the first time I received Jesus, what a joy it was that filled my heart. What happiness, what liberty, what peace. So when God gave us Jesus, he gave us his best. And two, when God gave us the Holy Spirit, he gave us his whole, his all. Because God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, he said, he will tell you, remind you, guide you, teach you of what I've taught you. And when God gave us that, the charge, should he say, amen? amen. Should he say, amen? Amen. Let me see your lips saying, amen. Amen. <laughs> now, amen, I want you to write it upside down. A-M-E-N. Meaning that A means agree with God. For us to be able to enjoy, to have the joy of the Lord into our lives, amen is the number one A. In everything God tells us, let's agree with God. Number two, M, it means we should move with God. Let, not, let us not go ahead of him. Let's not lack behind. Let's move with God. And N is that whenever God speaks to us, anything, E, when, 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 when God speaks to us, let's excel with him. Whatever he is telling, taking us, let's excel with him. And lastly, N is that when God has spoken anything, Pastor Roderick has oftentimes mentioned to us that uh, do not look at this flesh, but listen to the word that God is bringing to us. Listen to the scriptures that the Holy Spirit is unveiling to us right now. And whatever he tells us, Jesus told, the mother of Mary told his disciples, the disciples of Jesus, the workers at that wedding at Galilee, when they said there was no wine, the mother said this, whatever he tells you to do, do it. And that's why N is very important. Never, never doubt God. God bless you. Mothers, may God bless you. Thank you for uh, Proverbs that one that uh, um, Justin has read to us. That is a blessing. We are proud of you, mothers. We're proud of you, fathers, because the first Caesarean was a true uh, 
Roderick before <laughs> and then it came out. <laughs> so we are with you. We are partners. And the Lord God bless you. Thank you. And God bless you. Over to Pastor Roderick. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's unmute our microphones and put our hands together and give God a great big hallelujah. Amen. Let's unmute our microphones. Hallelujah. And give God some grace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Worship you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Happy praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Magnify your name, Father. Praise your Father. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. When, when God gave us Jesus, he gave us his best. Yes. When he gave us the Holy Spirit. He gave us yes. everything. Yeah. So to that you and I say, amen. 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 We, we, amen. We, we agree with God and we move with God. He Ooh. we excel with God. And last one, and we never, never doubt. doubt. Hallelujah. The Lamb of God, God be praised. I just thank God for you, my brother, for this word that is so timely, so very, very much needed. Um, I, I pray each of us, our hearts have have, have been blessed. I, I, there are a few takeaways. You know, when whenever we, whenever we we meet, it's good to take written notes, take mental notes as well, but take written notes whether we might be young or, or old, right? Because it's not a man speaking to us in this setting. It's the spirit of God speaking to us. And so one of the things that, that my wife and I do, we have our sons take notes. And then after the service, they have to tell us what the service was about. And they have to give us point by point. And they do, wow. they do it together. Amen. And so I find myself in that capacity doing the same now, thinking of taking notes. I think my, my, my biggest takeaways from today's service are when we have the blessing, we get the blessings. Yes. We have the blessing of God, we have the blessings. Yes. And then the, th the things, the th for all those things that were listed that money cannot buy, Jesus gives them to us free of charge. Amen. Things that money cannot buy, Jesus gives them, gives them to us free of charge. Amen. And the and the last takeaway is that um, the first cesarean section was performed <laughs> on a man, <laughs> not on a woman. <laughs> so that's a great revelation by God. Not, never quite saw it that way before. But <laughs> praise God for that revelation. Amen. Amen. If you're with us today, you do not know the Lord as Savior. Perhaps you've just be, you come, you've been invited by a friend or family member. Perhaps you have just 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 joined the service, you know, because you, you know, your your friend who has been pestering you for a while to come and join. I mean, just to come and join the service. You haven't come and you figure, okay, I'll do so on Mother's Day. Whatever the reason. Whatever has led you here today, if you don't know Jesus as, as your Lord and Savior, or perhaps you do know him as your Lord and Savior, but you've buried off the path, and the Lord is saying, today is the time to get back right with me. Amen. We just want to pray with you, want to offer Jesus to you, a right, right, recon, right relationship, recon, reconcile with him. John 3 verse 16 tells us that for God so loved the world, he gave his only son, that who, whoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you would, just if you're, if you're one of those, you recognize that you need a savior or ne you need to get back right with him. If you would just raise your, use a raise hand feature in Zoom or you can type, um, type salvation in the chat or you can send a direct message to Dan Walters and we will um, pray with you. I'm going to pray in a moment, but we'll, we'll pray with you. If you're praying this prayer for the first time and you want to get right with God, we, can, we will send a gift to you. But the tangible gift that we can give to you, as we heard in the message, is just a tangible gift. For the thing, your eternal salvation, that money cannot buy. 
that God gives to us free of charge. And he says, um, he, he would that none of us should perish, but that each of us should come to repentance. For Reverend Captain, he walks with the Lord. There was a time where he did not walk with the Lord. For myself, I walk with the Lord. For each of us as believers, there was a time where we did not walk with the Lord. And so you too can be one of these that walks with the Lord, whether you're joining us live in Zoom or you're later watching on social media. My prayer is that God would just find you where you are and bring you to, to him. I'm going to pray. And after I, I pray, Rev, I'm going to ask Reverend Captain to pray. I pray the prayer of salvation, but I'll ask Reverend Captain to pray uh, for that which was spoken through his lips uh, this day um, on, onto our hearts. All right, so that I'll, I'll start with, with prayer. Father, we honor you. We thank you, God. Thank you that you've been so faithful to us. Thank you for this blessed Mother's Day service. Thank you, God, for the mothers who are with us today. Thank you, God, for the gifts of them in our lives. Father, for those of us who may have lost our mother here on earth, we thank you, God, that, that for, for the lives that they live and the, the legacy that they have left. And for those of us who do have mothers here on earth, I pray, God, that today, um, through a phone call, through a visit, through a Zoom, through whatever it might be, God, we, we will reach out to them. For those of us who are, who are married and we have 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 uh, mothers um, of, of our children, I pray, God, that today we will just embrace that which has been in the call. But, Father, many of us do not know you as Lord and Savior. There are those who do not know you as Lord and Savior. And God, we just recognize that your word tells us that you so love the world that you gave your only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in you should not perish but have everlasting life. Father, I pray that the, this offer of salvation that goes out each week would not fall on deaf ears. Your word tells us if today we hear your voice, we should not harden our heart. Yes. Father, perhaps a brother or a sister came today just to, as a courtesy, as a, as a some invitation from uh, a friend, from a family member. And God, you had an appointment with that soul today. And so God, we just ask that you would just work in that heart, work in that mind, work in that life. May the hearts of stone become hearts of flesh. May the hearts that have been resistant to you on yes. this Mother's Day yes, receive Lord. you as Lord and Savior. Father, we lift you up. We honor you. Thank you, God, for the gift of salvation. Thank you, God, for the things that money can buy. Thank you for the tangible resources that money can buy. Yes. But for the things that money cannot buy, our eternal security. Thank yes. you, God, for that gift that's given freely to us. We learn that blessed is he who gives what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot lose. Mm. How we bless your great name for the gift of salvation. We honor you, thank for our, our, our great God. Thank you, God. Here, prayers we say thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we want to thank you because of ministering to us this day. We want to thank you, especially this day. And throughout the world, Lord, this day, mothers are being honored. I pray for each one, Father, that irrespective of the background, but all that came to you, Jesus, there was a difference. The Samaritan woman was turned, Father, for, from being a prostitute to being a great evangelist. And many were brought to the kingdom, especially in Samaria, the whole city gathered because of her. Thank you, Father, for all that my father came to you. Those that were sick, those that were healed, those that, Lord God, had various backgrounds, the Lord God were not pleasing society. When they met you, Lord, you changed them. Now, Father, I want to pray for every mother. The Lord, whoever my father, Lord God, has heard this word and will continue hearing this message, let you be the comforter, let you be the one to stand in the gap. My Father, replacing any part missing, the Lord, your joy, shall be made full to everyone of us. The Lord, when we have the joy, Nehemiah, your servant said that the joy of the Lord is our strength. I pray that this strength should be imparted to every man and woman that listen to this message globally. 
We want to thank you, Father, this morning, this evening and the morning in the U.S. Thank you for Pastor Rodrick. Thank you for the vision you've given him. Oh, Lord, he requires you. He needs you all the time and the leadership. And although that in this fellowship, may you, Lord God, continue growing it. That many, Lord, as we have been blessed, your servant Abraham, you told him, you bless him that he becomes a blessing to others. So as you bless us, Lord God, cause us to be a blessing to others. And Father, we cannot give that which you do not have. We pray for your blessing. Thank you as we continue in this day. May you lead and guide us. May this word that has come, Father, that we may become faithful, like those that had five talents, those that had two talents. And my Father, we may come to the understanding. The Lord, when we pray, it's you that say, when we pray, when we have fellowship with you, our joy shall be full. And when it is full, Peter and John say, what do we have we give to you? And Jesus, when you are in us, we'll have our joy full. Yes. And we shall be able to give you, Jesus, to the others. Lord, we thank you for giving this opportunity and this time in such a time. We bless you and worship you. We ask this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. And Amen. God's people say, Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. What shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Thank you, my brother. Amen. You know, Happy Mother's Day. Let me say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers here. <laughs> um, if you're here first, if, you, if you're here and you're a mother, please submit your information to Sister Dinley because if you don't, you won't get your gift. Uh, and we are a giving church. You know, Christ came, I mean, God gave us his only begotten son. So we like to give. Um, my brother, let me tell you something. You know, sometimes we show up in a meeting and sometimes we come full. And when we come full, we don't hear what the word that God is saying. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I am stuck with him. Never doubt God. Never Amen. doubt God. Never Amen. doubt God. Amen. 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 So mothers, please, please, please submit your info to Dinley. I type it in. The, well, we don't want to type in the chat. You have to do it directly to Dinley. Uh, or call the church office at 954-775-0436. Or send it to the church email. Thank you. Blessings, mom. And we have some more stuff coming up on Tuesday Bible study. You know, biblical mother and man, wow. Can't wait to see to hear from my sister Dinley. I'm like, I'm in her. I wish tomorrow was Tuesday. Oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> we'll meet him. <laughs> it's right there on the screen. Please come, please come, come tell your friend. Tell somebody. You know, you know, I must say something. You know, I was thinking about it, and you know, I, I it could be a joke, I could be cliche. You know, I heard that. All yeah. us Christians, the reason why we sing is because when we get a word, we keep it. We don't share it. So we got too much word of God inside of us. So let's just share, 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 share. Let's just share the good news. Let's just share what's going on over here in World Life Christian Fellowship. WLC, WLCF. So like a wrestling team. Yes, we are wrestling with the devil. So this is why we have to keep God in our and wow when I saw this this morning I go thank you Jesus an evening of praise and worship I mean I mean no Bible study mm, yes no Bible study but praise and worship if you have a song you could me your favorite song. It will be Tuesday, May 23rd at 7 p.m. And the Zoom ID is on your screen. If you have a song, you can contact Sister Dinley or leave a message on the church office and we will play your song. And like I said, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Let's have a good time. You know, the joy of the Lord is our strength. So, so let us celebrate. Thank you for joining us. Red Life Christian Fellowship. That's our phone number and our website and our email. 
So we just give you thanks and praise. And as Sister Jennifer would say, walk in victory. I am not Sister Jennifer. I am Brother Mel. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Brother, Brother Mel. And we just thank God today. And um, this might be, this isn't on the agenda. This is kind of somewhat off script. And I hope he doesn't mind. But can we put our hands together for Brother Mel today? Yeah. <laughs> So <laughs> yes. So we 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 thank we thank God for for um for um just ushering His presence through through um through through, through our, our our brother. He he might he might not be beautiful like his wife, but he has a beautiful heart for God. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Brother Bell, thank, thank you for, for availing yourself and just allowing the Lord to minister uh, to us through you today. And, you know, this this is a, 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 at our church, we just like to have the Lord the Lord lead. And when Brother Mel said he would, he would uh, step in, and by the way, please note that today what we're doing is the men have stepped up to give the women somewhat of the day off, right? The only woman who didn't get the day off is my wife Bim who puts information in, in in the chat, right? So in a few weeks we're going to celebrate Father's Day, and so the rest of us, uh, us as men, we're going to be silent that day. We're going to be silent while the ladies take over and just you know you know preach the word, share the words, and we just look forward to what Lord shall do. So we're just going to give you the the, the day off, if, if you will, and just thank God. Thank you to each each one for coming and worshiping with us today. You know, we're, we're going to, we're going to, we were going to close the service with a different song, but considering the end of the message from Reverend Captain, I believe that the Lord would have for us to say, agree with God, move with God, excel with God, never doubt God. So that puts together, amen. And so let us worship to this amen song. And we, we did, we did this a couple of weeks ago, but I believe it's timely and relevant for us to share it one more time. Amen.
Let the church say, let the church say, man. Oh, I need you to say, when your dream's about to die, knowing that God is not a man, he just can't lie. In spite of what, what the devil does. Well, that's funny. I, I'm always the one telling folks that they're muted. Pardon me. Let the Lord, let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Thank you everyone for joining us today on this happy Mother's Day. I pray it's a ha happy day uh, for you. Um, you know, I I was going to say earlier, I think she, she stepped away for a moment, but Sister Margaret Captain, the powerful prayer that was prayed through her before the message, it's a note to us put her on the program um, at additional times to pray the word of you, to, 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 to pray at different points. So she's a mighty woman of God, and perhaps if she's so gifted, she may bring the word um, some sometime as well. We just give God thanks for the ability to be able to meet in this capacity and to connect with you. Happy Mother's Day, wonderful folks. Reverend Captain, I'm going to ask you to, to do the benediction. Thank you again, mighty man of God. Thank you uh, for for sh um, sharing with us today as you have and i pray that each heart was blessed as we celebrate Amen. this 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 beautiful mother's day and thank god for the wonders of technology he's all the way in mombasa kenya yet it's like he's sitting next next to us very clear audio the whole nine yards everything just praise god so my brother would you do the benediction for us please glory to god what a gift we have uh pastor Rodrigo. god bless you so much benediction number six uh, verse 23. Well, I use what um, Pastor Roderick said, Kenya King James Version. 
uh, speak unto Roderick and unto his sons, saying on this wise, you shall bless the children, the members of Christ, uh, World Christian Fellowship, saying unto them, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his shine, his face shine upon you and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And all the mothers said, Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. I, I, I love the remix version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, one and all. I pray that this is a, it's a wonderful day for you. Thank you again for joining us. Um, I see a little a grand in the in the Maxwell household. I'm not sure if, it's, if that's Maya or Aaliyah. I always mix up the two names, but wonderful. Happy Mother's Day. I hope you have a wonderful day. My dear, all right. There she is. There, wow. there she is. All right. Happy Mother's Day. Make Amen. sure you're, you're spending time with, with grandma and grand, grandpa on this beautiful Mother's Day. All right. Yeah. Wonderful. All right, everyone. God Amen. bless you richly. All right. And see you Tuesday for Bible, well, yeah, for a special Bible study where my wonderful wife, then they will be sharing. And then we meet again on Sunday for worship. All right. Have a blessed day. Happy Mother's Day again. Oh, and remember, remember, remember to contact the church today. It has to be today for us to then get the gift to you. All mothers, if you have not already done so. All right. So please do it and we'll be sure to get to you. God wish to bless you. Happy Mother's Day. Right, Happy Mother's Day. 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 Happy Mother's Day to you all. Mothers, bless you. Amen. Happy Mother's Day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Leah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone. Oh. God bless you. God bless you. All right. God bless you, man. All right.